over from Buzzkill. They're going to be potentially just picking up some form of upgraded pistol onto JSAV. Besides that, there is not a lot to work with here whatsoever. Let's see what they can do with minimal firepower. There is still opportunity to hit those headshots, get those frags, perhaps drop an AK or two, make it a little bit expensive for the T side. But if they go up against those MAC-10s, it's going to be an absolute shooting gallery, to say the least. And indeed, it's going to be absolutely no upgrades. Interesting to see Jaysav not opting to take an upgraded pistol, perhaps looking for the possibility of an AWP into the third round of the half. As a little bit of an interesting setup comes from Buzzkill. They put two players in towards Car, one pushing aggressively short, the mid-peak coming out from Hawk. As HM1N is just left to hold his ground. Find whatever he can. The flashes will come out long and it's going to be down to Leaf and Russ on the early contact. They can bait Hawk into it a little bit. He's trying to hold from CT. They can try and get that information and from sight the taps will come through. Ragger takes a little bit of a tag as he makes his way in towards the pit. But still very limited information for this T side to work with. They have not spotted out anybody in particular as Ragger will get the one tap going. Find his first frag of the round but these players hiding in towards Car could do some damage. Leaf and Russ on the crossfire. They'll get one. They're looking for more, just hiding, baiting for the timing. HM1 tries to swing, but they're just mowing them down here. Last man alive, JSAV on that site is just getting tapped away. XE will get the USPS kill to finish things off. And I mean, with USPSs, with the P2000s, there is very limited information. Very limited in what you can do. We will see the first buy coming in for Buzzkill. They're going to be picking up M4s almost entirely across the board. Nobody with really enough cash. To try and get anything going. Is HM1 in hype? It is. He's changed his name. Why would you do that, man? Why would you do that to me? Five M4s to defend it. And instead, Nexus is going to go for the fast B rush. They've tended towards A multiple times. Now as these flashes come in, it's down to the hype. He'll get the first. He'll get the second. The spray, all too good. Triple for him. Even manages to recover the AK. This B hit is down. Ragger and Exe so low on HP. They're easy to find. Hawk will even get one through the smoke as Exe on 13 points of health. That B rush absolutely shut down by Buzzkill. The bomb dropped deep into the B bomb site. All too easy. And the last man, Exe, realistically, he's looking for exit frags in this scenario. The economy is going to be all right for the, C the T side. It's not going to be great. They have invested pretty heavily onto players like Kunka. Ragger's down to only about the 3k mark. But with the loss bonus, they will be able to get a decent buy into round number four. Promising signs for Buzzkill, however. First rifle round of the half. You could see what Nexus Academy were trying to achieve. They went aggressive A the first two rounds. Third round, why not just rush B with the rifles? But hype. In the right position at the right time and all too easy of a shutdown realistically for the CT side. She could have seen a little bit more. Perhaps a delayed B play from Nexus Academy to try and make the most of what they had. Tons of utility was just dropped by dying players as they tried to make their way fast onto that B bomb site. And XE starting to make his way in towards B upper. Just looking for the exit frags again. So many players holding his position. He'll swing wide. I think Jace have just spotted him out there. Just ducking up and down, making it as difficult as possible for the Romanian player. Jay Sav will rip his head off. First round on the board for Buzzkill. As they get those rifles singing and keep all five players alive, which can be so important when you've got this kind of CT economy build-up that you need to achieve, especially on a map like D2. Very puggy map. You want to give yourself as much of a firepower advantage as frequently as possible because executes utility. They're going to struggle a little bit against the pug play that we will see on D2. It is going to be the buy coming in from Nexus Academy. It's going to be Ragger picking up the AWP. Kunka, as expected, having to drop down onto a little bit of a lesser firepower choice. Looking for those one digs. As again, Buzzkill go aggressive towards long early on, trusting Hype alone towards that B-bomb site. And then once they've got that long presence, they've stuck Leaf in towards the pit. They start to retake towards mid through JSAV and Hawk. Going for the boost up on top of the box. He's giving themselves a little bit of information to work with. Trying to find whatever they can. Nades go through the mid doors. Not going to find any real damage. Nexus playing this one a lot slower. They have the rifles now. They're going to start to make their way up towards short. And they can start to plan a little bit of an execute perhaps. Still mollies, flashes and smokes available for that T side. As Russ is going to be the lone defender in towards car if this turns into a short take. He's very isolated at the moment. This could start to get a little bit awkward for Buzzkill. The mid-beast fake smoke comes in. Ragger going to lob the flashes as well as now they're just creeping their way up short. And I don't think Russ has even spotted them out. Finally, you see him take the contact. Falls back off the angle, trying to play the corner. And it looks like, again, we're going to see Buzzkill giving up this A-bomb site without too much of an issue. 
They have currently got the bomb a little bit trapped in towards middle. If they can find that pick, things can start to get really interesting. But Adron is looking to cut it out at the source. The spray is good. He takes the dink, but still finds the headshot to bring it into a five versus four. And you can see Raga trying to make something happen. Jump peeking with the AWP, but Russ will take those all day long. Kunkra able to recover the AWP on the site and could try and find a frag here. Russ a little bit isolated, alone towards that A-bomb site. And the CT is looking very spread for the time being. Adron going to look to hold from that headshot angle. Can't quite hit it. Hawk to trade him out. Three on three as this retake looks to come in. Two Molotovs still available for the CT side to try and burn out some of these T players for Nexus. And they are looking to do just that. Hawk should have just spotted the head of Exy there. A three-pronged retake coming in from the CTs. No grouping whatsoever. They're just going to have to hit their shots. No trades available as Hype gets the entry. And Leaf is traded out. Two on two now. And they're both playing very tight to the site. The spray from Hype is good for one. Recovers onto the AK with ammo. And Exy just auto-isolated an elevator. That's an easy enough round. Four buzz killed. Two players remaining. As they managed to retake that A-bomb site. And finally, you see perhaps what they were looking to try and do on that pistol round. Again, looking more than happy just to completely back off of that A-bomb site. Just allow the bomb to go down and then play the retake, the afterplant situation. And works out perfectly for them on that occasion. Even managing to save an AWP on towards Russ. And it will be the buy coming in from Nexus. Five Deagles. A couple of flashbangs for Adron. It's going to be looking for those picks. Basically just trying to look... To get as much damage done as they possibly can in this round. As Hawk going to go for the early contest. Just gets a little peek in front of the smoke. Works out what's going on towards mid. Not spotting out too much though. And again, it's that fast long take coming in from Buzzkill. They want to contest that, that portion of the map. They want to make sure that there's no available presence for the Nexus Academy side. They are starting to sneak their way out mid though. They've worked out the play. And Jsav a little bit isolated. Could be taken down by the Deagle here. He's been spotted out and that's all too easy. The one Deag for Kunkka. Fortunately for Buzzkill, the rifle not really recoverable, but Ragger will get a second one dig, and Russ is in an awful position now. He has no information towards short whatsoever, and Nexus know it. They know they've got that AWP isolated. They're not even going to bother trying to contest him. Hawk getting the information into mid, but for the time being, it looks like they're posturing towards a B site hit. Two early one digs for the Nexus team, and this is exactly what you want when you've got those deagles. You want to get yourselves a couple of picks, get yourselves the man advantage, and then look to swarm a site, and that is exactly what's going to happen here. They're making their way in towards B up and now Nexus, and it's going to be down to hype. Hits the first. The spray's good for two. The spray's good for three. And Ragger left in an awful position. That bomb just dropped right in the middle of the molly. Hype, he wants that ace. Can't quite have enough bullets in the chain before it. He will find a good tag onto Ragger, who looks to retrieve the bomb, takes a burn on the way. Three versus two. They do still have the bomb in their hands, Nexus, but the clock is really their enemy at this point. Russ is still lurking on that A-bomb site. He's in towards CT. He's going to make sure nothing can go on on that A site. He can catch these players on the cross. There's no smoke for the T's to work with, and realistically, they don't have time to throw it either. They've just got to make their way straight onto this A-bomb site. Fast rotate coming in from Hawk as well. As you can see, Hype's got aggressive into the B-Halls, getting so much information as this bomb's going to desperately try and make its way across the gap. Russ, not able to hit the shot, but Hawk recovers the situation. And Adron, three versus one. The clock on five seconds. There's nothing more for him in this round. He even takes a little bit of damage through the wall. Russ pulls out the P2K, an easy headshot. Buzzkill do take the lead for the first time. CT side of D2. I'm reluctant to say that this map is CT or T-sided because I feel like with the right teams, this map can go either way. But we'll have to wait and see how it develops as the AKs come out across the board for the Nexus Academy. No AWP in play. Not enough cash in the bank to bring that one out. But plenty of utility to try and see that execute. As again, we're going to see Buzzkill contesting long strongly in the early round. And Nexus, I think, have just realized they've got to read on that. They are not bothering with the long presence whatsoever as they start to make their way down mid here, Nexus. They're going to just go for the fast B split, and there's no information for Hype. He has no idea these players are making their way to mid B. Now the peaks have come in, but Hype completely alone on this B bomb site. They've been read beautifully, Nexus. They're just making their way through. Hype does manage to find one. A nice flash will allow Hype and Jace have to get fragged to a piece, and Adron can only find one. How have they recovered this? Zoot's the last man alive. He's got Hype pinned on the site, but Hype just dodging around the boxes. Lovely headshot for one. Second for Zoot's. Can he find this one versus two? Russ is holding the doors, though, and actually just misses the shot. A little bit unfortunate. Pot Flash will blind him for the time being. He has Leaf in towards B upper. One versus two. The bomb recoverable for Zoots. This looked like an impossible situation, but it's slowly developing to one he can trust himself in. Peeking in towards B upper. He wants to try and find a frag before he gets that bomb down. Wants to give himself an opportunity here. And at the very least, he's made this round incredibly expensive for Buzzkill. Zoot's starting to peek out. He's, oh, 
Russ, if you've been holding mid there, that's all too easy a shot. But Zoots is going to start to make his way out. 40 seconds still to work with. He wants to try and clear out Russ here. He's going to walk right into the crosshairs. Can Russ hit the reaction shot? He can indeed. Buzzkill will get the 4-2 lead, but not without significant cost for that CT side. Dropping two rifles to the last man alive for Nexus. A little bit unfortunate, but I'm sure they'll be happy just to have the round. Uh, yo, Revilo, thank you so much for subbing, man. Massively appreciate it. And you know I'll always stream this shit. It's what I love doing, so... The Deagles once again coming out for the Nexus Academy side. Five of them. Three flashbangs this time. One more than the previous attempts. And they didn't need them to find the opening picks last time. Can they do it again? They're going to go fast towards long this time where J7 Leaf are lying in wait. They're trying to make their way out early on. The Molotov will keep them in place. And Hawk with the secondary AWP in his hands will find the opener. First time we've seen Buzzkill bringing out that double AWP setup. Smoke goes through from Hawk in towards those mid doors, and he wants to try and get that orb singing. Needs to be a little bit conscious of the possibilities available to the T side as he finds a second onto Raga. Can't quite hit the reaction shot onto the third. The orb just a little bit too slow, but you can see what the T's are trying to do. They're trying to pressure that mid player with these deagles, try and get the peaks going, but they're just walking into his crosshair one by one. And again, Hawk's going to take these frags all day long. Exe not really in a position to trade as the bomb does start to make its way up short. And now Exe. Could potentially find the shot. J7 in support of the AWPer. And Russ with that secondary AWP is just desperate for a frag here. Zoots is going to start to walk into his sights. That's an easy enough shot. The bomb dropped on short. Last man, Exe in towards mid. Not a single recoverable rifle, but he will find a one dig. Opens things up onto J7. His account in the round. Looking to get it a little bit more. Can't quite hit the shot onto Hawk. Who just decides to back off the situation. He knows he's got hype getting aggressive into the tunnels and just flanking all the way around. Exe in a really awful spot for this one. Hype will clean up the mess. Only the one man dropped by the T-sided player. And that's much, much better from the CT side. Much, much better. They're getting these rounds on the board without significant losses. They're dealing with these Ecos without too many idiot... Uh, too many... Issues whatsoever. Orp coming on to Raga once again. Four AK-47s for the T side to try and unlock this. But what can they do? Buzzkill have started to look resolute on their defense. Orp for Raga is going to go for the mid peak. And boosting on top of the smoke is Hawk. He's been red. And Raga will hit that shot all too easily. A little bit unfortunate there. If they weren't expecting the boost, that's an easy shot for Hawk to hit. But as it stands, a five versus four situation. And you can see J7 Hype opting to take a bombsite of pieces. Zoots, he has no idea. There's a gap in the smoke. It's good damage for Hype. Not quite able to hit the shot, though. The man advantage still there for, for Nexus Academy. And they are trying to make their presence known. You can see Leaf's got really aggressive in towards long. Smoke comes in deep, but Hype wants to get aggressive off the back of it, and he will find an entry pick. And now Nexus need to respond, but they're not really in any kind of a position to do so. The mid B split has been red. There's two CT players to try and hold this off. What can Hype and Jsav do? They're playing the crossfires as the flash and the nades come in, but the headshot angle is good for Hype. Gets himself an opener, still playing that site, and Raga has actually just managed to make his way all the way up mid in the meantime. That smoke's still working beautifully. Raga will get one. It's down to Hype, and he can do nothing. Exe comes through the window to make it three on two as this bomb should surely go down. And if Adron could cut off the fast rotate from Leaf, this round is over. You can see Russ with that AWP really not in a great position to try and find anything in this round. Leaf has to find the entry pick. Leaf needs to be the aggressor into upper, but he's going to walk right into the crosshairs of Adron. An easy enough frag and Russ 1v3 with that AWP. Surely got to be thinking about saving and indeed he will making his way down into middle. Just looking to save that AWP. He's already making his way through the long doors. It will be 5-3. to three. Nexus Academy not done with this one yet in the round of 16. Of course, whoever finishes first in this game will be going on to face the winner of Gamer Legion versus... I can't remember who they're playing against. Gamer Legion versus somebody. Ah, it's Vodafone Giants, isn't it? So two really strong teams facing the winner of this one in the round of 8. That built-up CT economy is finally going to pay dividends. It will be the buy coming in. For a three AUGs, an M4 and the AWP. Interesting to see Leaf opting to stick with the M4 despite the arguable benefits of the AUG, especially on those ranged engagements. As we're going to see next, it's just straight up bombing it out along a five-man rush. Leaf forced back off the angle. Can't get aggressive this time. Nice mixing it up from the Nexus Academy side. They're taking that long control once again, getting aggressive on it. And they have got a five-man hold along now. Can opt to back off a little bit. 
perhaps look to back off once you've got this control. Leave the late lurk and start to take control towards somewhere else on the map. You know you're keeping the CTs interested once you've gained this long control. And it looks like that is the plan of Adron. The rest of his team, though, they're just going to straight make it up long here. Leaf and Rust, they have the crossfire set up. They know the possibility of the flank short exists after that pistol round failure. The Molotovs and nades going to be deployed onto the site as the bomb's trying to make its way up short here. Nexus Academy just waiting for the right moment to strike the bomb. Going to be thrown back to Zoots. They do have cross smokes available, but they're just stalling for a while. I think they're waiting for somebody to perhaps get an opening pick here as Hawk drops a flashbang just to buy a little bit of time. And it will force a little bit of confusion out of the side of Nexus Academy. You can see a drone still lurking in towards top and middle. He's not finding anything at all there. So going to choose to fall back in through the long doors as this long hit comes through. And it's down to Russ again on the angle with the AWP in his hands. Nade's doing good damage and a nice opener onto Kunkka. Trying to play the headshot angle on the ramp, but he just didn't quite line it up correctly. The utility will force Russ back off this angle. So a five versus four afterplant situation. As the bomb goes down for a long plant, Russ with the Molotov not in a position to try and contest it. And what can Buzzkill do here? A little bit of utility still to work with to try and force these players off the site. Flashes and nades rain over the top of shorts. They are just going for a straight short take. Zeus gets destroyed on the headshot angle, but Xe able to trade from car, and he's just hiding. He's buying as much time as he can. Taps away at the head, looking for more onto Hawk. Finally traded out three versus two. The bomb still planted for that Hawk. Raga in towards the long area. He's trying to hold it down. The bomb will be stuck. Raga hits the first shot. Hypes found, and Leaf does find the trade, but the time is up, and I think he thought he'd stuck the bomb there. There's no more time for Leaf. He's not going to be able to get that defuse. He needs to try and hold on to that rifle. Nexus get a fourth and draw ever closer to Buzzkill here. What an enthralling round. That AWP shot from Raga, absolutely essential. And you can see what it's done to the Buzzkill buzz economy there. Down onto the pistols. That one rifle going to be the only significant firepower that they have at their disposal. P250s, a deagle for hype. And the AUG onto Leaf to try and do whatever they can. You can see Hype, a really outstanding player on that B bomb site at the moment for Buzzkill. Going to need to step up again as the early presence from Nexus is towards B. Has that Deagle in his hands. He's going to need to pull off a little bit of a miracle to try and stop. But looks like it's heading for a B setup very early on. The boost in towards short will lead an easy frag for Kunkka. Rush in a position to recover the rifle though. So at least they kept a little bit of firepower at their disposal. As now Nexus start to mix it up and take that mid control. Zoot's a little bit isolated. We'll take the tag. Trades it out onto Hype for the time being. And 4 versus 5. Nexus just slowing this round down. There's no need to get overly aggressive. Walk into the positions where these pistols do their worst. Just try and hold off. Wait for the right timing. Find a secondary pick. And then control the round from there. As we will see Adron getting booted up in towards short. And it's very passive from Nexus. They're waiting for somebody to walk into a crosshair. Someone from Buzzkill, they know that the CTs will want to be getting aggressive on this scenario. They want to be getting that information, finding a little bit of timing perhaps. Find a second rifle, give yourselves an opportunity. You can see Jace have completely isolated towards long, playing very close to the angle. And the P250 can do some significant damage up close and personal. As the pop flash comes through, Jace have playing a little bit of an off one deep on the left hand side. Not quite in the pit, not quite out of it. As now this push starts to come through, Kunkka clears the angles meticulously. JSAV will find a dink, but not quite enough as he's traded out by Kunkka. And now a five versus three. Four players on that long presence as the nades and smokes will come through. Beautiful pop smash for Russ, but he can only get one. The damage is done, but the trade is there for Exe. And you can see what Hawk was trying to do, but he's not able to find it. And on the flank, finally, Zoots will chime in with one of his own. Just the one frag for Buzzkill. As things draw level at five apiece, Kunkka the only one to fall. There was so much damage to work with. But not quite enough for Buzzkill to really make a go of that round. We'll see the buy coming in into round number 11. The CT side going to be bringing out that AWP again. This time Russ actually opting to glass cannon it. So nowhere near as much firepower as you'll see on the T side. Ragger fully armored. Full host of nades. He's going to go aggressive down suicide early on. He wants that peak. You can see Hawk. He's tempted to contest that one in towards suicide. But he knows of course with the M4 he's in a real disadvantage at that kind of a range. As Nexus will take the fast controller lower tons. The nade's going towards short. Perhaps hoping that that boost is still in for the CT side. And now the set, the late long take comes in from the CTs. They will take that chunk of information away. Pop leaf in towards the pit. And that just allows them to start to rotate off. Potentially try and get a read on what Nexus are trying to do. Hawk's still a little bit isolated. We'll find a good amount of nade damage onto a drone. 5v5 still on the cards. The utility's starting to run dry for Buzzkill. They are starting to be bled out as Nexus 
still playing this round very cautiously. They want to take short control, but they don't want to lose any players doing it. Raga throws the nades over the top. Pop flash to try and peak the angle. Leaf's going to get the info long, so the rotate should come in. Russ on that glass cannon should be able to support in towards Car as now the fake smoke for the mid B comes in. Just leaving Zoots on that late lurk. Hype still holding for him as the Molotov will actually force Hype out of position. Can he get the spray? He can. Survives the molly on 11 HP and that means it's go time for Nexus. The smokes, the nades, the mollies will come through. But Russ on the glass cannon will get the entry. Russ with the second just holding the angle. Finally, Ragger trades for one. But it's a one versus four for him. He's only managed to find J7. This round's looking good for Buzzkill as they swarm onto that AWPer. Rush trying to contest the angle. He knows Rega has to peek into him at some point. And indeed he will. Rush gets his third. The hold from Carr. Absolutely inch perfect. Buzzkill will regain the lead 6-5. to five. Uh, It's not going to quite be enough to force the full eco out of the T side though. Enough cash built up in the bank across that T side. They will be going again for the AK's Deagle onto Kunka. We've seen how effective... That Nexus Academy side can be with a Deagle in their hands. JSAV having to drop down onto the UMP. Doesn't have quite enough cash to pick up the full-powered rifle. As again, we're going to see Nexus getting aggressive towards B early on. Three players going for this fast peek in towards Hype's position. Not going to find too much as the counter flashes come in from the CTs. And again, we're going to see them taking that long control. Hype, not with the AUG. Can't quite contest the ranged firefights quite the way he'd like. Going to use a lot of utility to lock down those B tunnels and... As this utility starts to run dry for the CT side, that's when Nexus have looked to pounce. They're taking that mid-control once again. Exe and Adron. Kunka deep back of an angle just to try and support the rifles. Pick up a rifle if anything goes south. And it's a very interesting contest long, actually. Leaf holding one passive angle. Raga holding the other. And I think Raga's just sneaking up on this as the short control is taken. He is indeed. He's playing very passively. He wants to get something done, but he's going to walk right into the crosshairs of Russ. And he will find the entry pick. That is exactly what you need from your AWPer. Finding those frags now. Russ starting to get a feel for this game a little bit more. Five versus four. The advantage for Buzzkill as the AK should be picked up by Kunka here. And Leaf might actually get a timing onto him. He spotted him out perfectly. And he's, if he can drop the bomb here, that's huge. The spray is just about good enough for Leaf. He has dropped it. Five versus three. Zoots, Exe, and Adron. The last players alive for Nexus to try and recover this situation. They have a little bit of short presence to work with, but very limited in utility and very limited in firepower. Adron sneaking out wide. Will take the head off of Russ, and that's this A-bomb site a little bit open now. The rotate's going to be swift from CT through JSAV, but this bomb site looking a little bit open. The bomb goes down for a short plant. Four versus three on the retake. Let's see what Buzzkill can do here. Smoke by Zoots. A little bit of time on that long peek as... Leaf does manage to recover onto an AK. Tag down to 20 HP. Of course, you want that one-tap headshot potential. So many CT players sneaking their way up. But the frag goes the way of Zoots to open things up. And now, JSAV on that UMP can do absolutely nothing. It's down to Hype and he gets his head ripped off. Leaf, last man alive. One versus two. 20 HP starts to creep his way onto the site. But with just the one flashbang picked up off a dead body to work with, they're just going to hold passively Nexus. They know this round is over. Buzzkill will be conceding as Nexus draw things level again. Six apiece. This one's going to go right down to the wire. The T side being strong for Nexus at the moment. Leaf managing to save just the one rifle. Six all and two rifles kept up for the T side. They're going to be able to fully invest into the next round. Not quite the case for Buzzkill. Going to be very much struggling economically. Should be a couple of rifles if they want to try and force into this one. Otherwise it will be the pistols. And that is the call indeed. Russ going to pick up the Deagle. P250s for hype. And Hawk, JSAV opting to stick with the USPS. No cash left for him to try and get that upgraded pistol. Interesting to see Leaf not even opting to drop a pistol across us. It will be the Deagle and the USP early towards long. Russ forced off the angle by the utility and they are a little bit isolated. They need to hightail it here. Russ brought down to 32 HP just by the fast spam. As again, we see Nexus taking that fast control of long. This has been something they've looked to do consistently and it looks like they're just going to barrel it straight on out towards the site. A little bit of a gap in the smoke will be corrected awfully by Nexus. There's still a gap to work with as the spray for a drone will find the opener. And Leaf needs to make that AK work for as much as he possibly can. The tags are good for Nexus and they've managed to get the bomb across on towards that site now. Hot flash comes through. The P250 will find one. Hawk traded out towards long. And there's really no entry left for this CT side. They're just looking for damage. And they are finding quite a bit. Leaf gets his second of the round. There's two tags still to work with. Raga and Exe. Very, very low in terms of HP. But of course, Buzzkill won't know that. And with Hype on 23 and a P250, they're just going to slowly back away from this situation. Leaf again going to be trying to keep that AK-47 up. 
get a decent buy into the last round, of the second to last round of the half, excuse me. It's a little bit unfortunate for Buzzkill. So much damage to work with. That retake actually becomes viable, but they will be conceding as Hype sent on a little bit of a recovery mission to try and do as much as he can, but he's spotting nothing whatsoever. You can understand Nexus just hiding in towards the pit and Kunkar on full HP will protect his tagged up teammates. The lead back the way of Nexus. Full buy for both sides. Last round of the half. Well, second to last round of the half, excuse me. I keep thinking it's the last round. As the first pause comes in from Nexus. And you can understand the pause in this scenario. You can see the money is absolutely busted for that CT side. If they can make this round work for them, Nexus, they're realistically looking at a fairly easy run into the half. And give themselves a little bit of a springboard to work off as they go onto that CT side of D2. Full buy in for Buzzkill, of course, trying to counter that. And I mean, the same realistically stands for them. If they can get, I mean, if they even get four frags and don't win the round, the economy's not going to be great for Nexus. If they take the round even more so, you can see Ragga are drawn absolutely bust on cash. Zoot's not in a great position either. This game really going right to the edge. A narrow lead for Nexus as we go into the second or last round of the half. I suspect Leaf's been dropped, and indeed he has an AK-47 in his hands. Orp onto Russ once again as Nexus are going to go for that fast presence towards B-Halls. Seen them doing it fairly consistently off the back of these long takes. They do like to take presence in towards B. They know that Hype tends to play isolated, and Kunkar actually going to straight up sneak out through mid. Somehow finds Hawk a little bit slow on the reactions, and that leaves Hype in an absolutely awful position here. Completely isolated towards that B-bomb site. j -Sab is trying to do whatever he can. The Molotov from Hype goes deep and buys a little bit of time for this CT side, but five on four, they need somebody to get aggressive, and it looks like it will be Russ posting himself up in towards Kenny S, trying to get information, trying to get something for his team to work off of, and he's actually just going to straight push up short here. Flash around the angle, and he will find the pick. Adron trying to jump up on the boxes is taken down. The advantage mitigated by Buzzkill, and now it's going to be that mid B split coming in from the T side. JSAP playing a hell of an off angle here. If he gets his timings right, he should be able to get too easy. He's smoked off, flashed off the angle. Hype still isolated and alone as Zoots finds him, and now the site is completely open. JSAP tries to swing, but Kunka takes him down, and a four versus two in this after plant. The spray from Leaf will make it two on three, but they need to try and get into the B bomb site, and that is absolutely. Awful for Buzzkill. That's such a difficult site to break into. And are they just looking at the save? They still have two rifles in their hands. And are they just looking at the back of a save? Indeed, they are. Leaf and Russ have backed off towards long. They're willing to concede the round. I will say that Buzzkill have been a bit of a T-sided team. So, potential for them to come back into this one. As it will be 8-6 going into the last round of the half. Trying to save these two rifles. To give themselves any kind of a chance to... Realistically, do some damage, get some frags in. Again, they're finding tags. Kunkka and Zoot's very low on HP. But without the economy to try and get into this round, they just can't do it. They just don't. Without the economy, they can't have that confidence to try and make their way into the site. You can see with the Molotov on Rust, they could have done so much work. But it will be those two lonely players saving in towards Pit. Just trying to keep a little bit of cash in the bank. Leaf and Rust will be able to drop a rifle apiece. They will be a little bit short on utility, but... Let's see what they can do with it. Hype. Currently been dropped the AWP. I was about to say there's no way he's taking that in towards that B-bomb site. The rush potential all too strong. Harvey, thank you very, very much for the sub, my dude. And JPBT, thank you for the 50 bits. Although I'm not going to read out the message. Timeout again comes in from Nexus. Why has XE got a scout? Some things you're never destined to understand. I think they're going fully scoped weapons for the early pick down mid. Indeed, they are. Two orbs, two scouts for Nexus Academy. A little bit of a Fnatic play. Not quite as much cash as Fnatic had. So not going to be able to pull out the auto snipers. But it is going to be four scoped weapons to try and find that pick towards middle. The buy in for Buzzkill. Hawk having to drop down onto the MP9. Gets himself a little bit of utility to work with. As the spam should come through. These scoped weapons. They're going to do absolutely nothing. So many scopes. But no damage inflicted whatsoever. Double Orp still up. Finally will be dropped across. X he's still with the scout in his hands. And a really odd play in the early round from Nexus. Not taking a lot of map presence. Ragger's posted himself up towards long. Has the support. 
Takes the early shot as the smoke falls in from Buzzkill and backs off the angle. Hawk a little bit isolated in middle again. Just the MP9 to work with. And we've seen Kunker expose him once. If this happens again with Zoots, things can start to get really awkward. Playing anti-flash. It looks absolutely ridiculous. But Zoots will find the opener. And again, they need to find the repeat here. Jsav pot flashed in. Does get a little bit of a tag onto Raga. But the movement just evades the crosshair for a little while longer. Five versus four. Man advantage for Nexus to try and work with. And they are going to make their short presence known. Ragger contesting the orc mid. Rust just takes the tag and then straight up wall bangs him to make it four on four. Again, Rust the player to find that equalizing frag and make things a little bit interesting. Four AK still up. The buy still pretty strong for Buzzkill. Rust tag down to 15 means I'm putting Nexus at a slight advantage here as the bomb is retrieved. Going to start to make its way in towards long through Kunker. And if Leaf can shut this bomb down, this round gets really, really awkward for the T side. A three-man push towards long. Looking like it could be a reality here. As it is down to Leaf. He's in an awful spot here. The timing is not good at all. He's trying to get aggressive towards long. But that will lead to his head getting ripped off. Russ is taken through the doors. And now JSAB in a one versus three. Can only find the first. It's down to hype. The top fragger for Buzzkill in towards CT. Rotating off that B-bomb site. Finding some good damage onto XE. And of course, this time, there is no harm in going for this. Three versus one, four hype in towards short, but so much utility being thrown by that T side. Still got a Molly available in towards Kunker. Molly goes out short. Hype is just being held off, and every second makes this a little bit more improbable. One smoke grenade onto hype to try and make this work. Three versus one. The double peak comes in. Hype does isolate the first frag. Xy very low HP on the ramp. Needs Adron to come up in support. And indeed he will. One tap to the face. Nexus take a nine to six lead as we go into the T side. And you've got to say Buzzkill. They'll be looking to pick up this pistol. They'll be looking to put themselves in a position to really push through on the T side. Find their shots. Hit the rounds that they need. And try and take this best of one into the... Round of eight of the minor open qualifier. Of course, Buzzkill have been here once previously, just two days ago. Didn't quite make it past the round of 16. So, round of eight would be a real accomplishment for the UK roster. Buy comes in. Hawk going to pick up the nades for the T side. Armor for the remainder. Looks like no defuse kit picked up by Nexus. Clearly confident in their own abilities. Not anticipating a retake of any kind of a site here as flashes will come out for the fast long play. It looks like Nexus going to get aggressive short in response. Akron peeking the angles. Not going to spot anyone out. Backs off in towards that B-bomb site. Zoots is going to keep getting aggressive. And he's going to walk right into the headshot on Leaf. Looking for more. He's got Hype very isolated. And Hype not quite hitting the shots. A little bit of a whiff coming in. We'll finally pick up a secondary Glock to equalize. That was a little bit awkward. But Hype just about makes it happen with the Glock. Four on four. Now they do have long control to work with Buzzkill. As Jsav looks to join his teammates, and it is going to be a short, long split push here. Very isolated. Ragger's going to need to hit some serious shots to make this one work. Playing the headshot angle, he finds the damage, but now they start to swing. He hits the first, he hits the second, he hits the third! Ragger with the triple one tap towards short. This round is done. Rush trying to make his way out towards long, but Ragger has single-handedly secured this round for Nexus. That is absolutely ridiculous. The peak will come in, but Kunka will dispatch of it. How has he done that? They just lined up for him, tapping away three headshots with three bullets. And that's exactly what Buzzkill would have not been looking for. 10-6 to six, the scoreline. And now things start to get a little bit awkward. Realistically, looking at 11-6 before the buy comes in. A little bit of a recovery needed for Buzzkill. Going to be 1p250 onto Hype without the bomb plant to even work with. There is no money for this T side hype, the only player to find frags and the only one to have that cash in the bank. Zeus takes a lot of early damage for the P250s. The fast long rush, able to find one onto JSAV, but now Ragger with the AUG will just mop up at range and hype. Left one versus four with that P250 he is able to find a secondary frag, and they are making this as expensive as you could reasonably expect here, Buzzkill. A couple of frags with just Glocks and one P250 is good enough. And with that bomb dropped out towards long, Hype is absolutely out of this round. He just needs to try and do whatever he can in terms of damage. The long-range firefight not going to favor that MP9. You can see Adron thinking about grabbing the UMP, but going to be backing off. And Hype's going to start to make his way in towards long. Nice lineup smoke from Xy to cover that angle for a little while. It's actually complete. Oh, it has. No, it's missed. Hype going to swing around the corner into the awaiting arms of the MP9. Adron going to mop that one up all too easy. Nexus take the lead 11-6.
Uh, someone's asking me for a replay. My dude, I do not think you understand my production here. I do not have any of those capabilities. I'm sat in my bedroom casting, man. <laughs> the buy will be in for Buzzkill. It's going to be five AK-47s, four utility across the board. And Hype really going to need to find something for Buzzkill here. It looks like they want to take fast control along. Pop flashes come through. There is going to be contest here. Raga has support. The Molotov going to completely isolate these T's. And it's an absolute firing range. The double is in. But the trades are all too good for Nexus. Just destroyed that long push. And Buzzkill, what was that? First rifle buy. And they try and just bomb it out of long. Nexus read the play beautifully. And they do secure the round as well. 12 to 6. Now things start to get really rough for Buzzkill. They have the pistols out. They will get the Deagles to try and work their way into this round, but it's going to take something seriously impressive from this T side of Buzzkill to find this round and perhaps give themselves a chance in this game. No presence towards long this time for Nexus as the flashes are used and Buzzkill will be allowed to take control. JSAB looks like he just straight up wants to get aggressive up long here. And Nexus doing the same sort of thing we saw from Buzzkill. But now they're going to start to push back round in towards the site. The nades are going to do so much damage for this CT side. So much damage inflicted before Buzzkill even get near a site. And these pistols trying to make the most of the range advantage. And it will be Hawk double with the P250. Bomb's going to go down. Three versus four. The tag's still there to work with as Hawk recovers an AK-47. And I mean, it still favors the CT side this scenario. But it's not great whatsoever. Push starting to come in and it's going to be down to Buzzkill to hit their shots. Deagle in the hands of JSAV is going to have to do work. One AK retrieved. Hawk on half health. Leaf is the only full HP player and the spray is good for a double on XE. He's isolated the site. JSAV able to find one but the support from Short finally comes in a little bit late. Hype makes it 1v1. The bomb not planted for him. Adron could just straight up stick this time running out. He knows he's baited it out but... Has Hype bought the time? He gets the spray down with the Deagle. Hype makes it happen. And Buzzkill with a lifeline in this. A lifeline for that T side. Buzzkill able to get their seventh on the board. And push Nexus back down onto the eco. It's going to be four Deagles. Zeus... Yet to buy, we'll actually pick up a fifth, and we've seen how lethal Nexus can be. So they're going to go for that early presence in towards long. Not spotting out too much yet. Raga, you can see what he's trying to do. Give himself the best headshot angle. Hawk's going to wander out, and that's all oh, an easy shot to hit for Raga. You can't give away three AKs like that, Buzzkill. Raga's going to try and recover it, in fact. And you can see Leaf holding very passively. They don't want to give any more up to these pistols. They've already lost a man. They've lost utility. They've lost firepower. So they're going to try and make their way fast out of mid. No presence towards the tunnels for the time being. And this AK can try and wreak havoc. Russ with the AWP in his hands. Will get his first of the round to equalize things. And now as the smokes and nades rain through, they just need to dodge the bullets. But JSAB, 1 HP, headshot through the box. And now... This is where these pistols can really start to excel. JSAB going to try and make his way through the window. But on 1 HP, Aaron gets a double. Four versus two. How has it gone to this? Russ in a one versus four actually finds the collat and the P250 will make it 1v2. But two AKs available for this CT side. Russ with that AWP. This is an impossible situation. His gun barrel's been spotted out. He's trying to bait out that information. Trying to isolate the 1v1s and he will hit the first. He spots the second player. The AK's not enough. Russ, how have you done that? A one versus four. Buzzkill are just relying on individuals to go absolutely nuts here. That is the only way they're securing rounds. And this time it's Russ's turn to step up to the plate and find the round. And force Nexus back down onto a half by once again. I mean, we've seen what they can do with these pistols. And the, button, the money really isn't good for Buzzkill. But with every time one of these happens, they've got to start to feel a little bit more confident in themselves, Buzzkill. They've got to start to think that there's opportunity. If there's opportunity, then they will look to expand on it. The buy comes in. It's going to be AKs. Leaf dropping down onto that MAC-10. A fairly strong buy across the board. It's actually going to be the half force coming in. Just the one rifle onto XE. Going to pick up a little bit of utility in support of that. Deagles for the remainder of the CT side. But this is where Buzzkill could look to really start to push their case. They got into the minds of Nexus. That one versus four from Russ has really got to trigger a CT side. 
And now they're going to look to push the case. Russ going for the early peak. Orp in hand. And he's found the pick on to B. That's going to force the rotate early on. You can see Zoot's desperately trying to make his way in. But with Leaf and Jsav on very limited firepower, there's nothing that this CT side can do. The bomb's going to go down five versus four. And again, it's these D-Eagles just trying to do damage on the exit. And the MAC-10 is going to start to plow through these players. Leaf gets his first and he's looking for more. Of course, he is tapping away with the MAC-10. Finally traded out by Zoots. But the damage is done. The round is over. These three remaining CTs. You can see Exy trying to keep his hands on that FAMAS. He's just going to be backing off. Zoots playing the headshot angle. Looking for exits. But spotted out. And Hawk somehow drive by one taps. Four versus two. Hype just going to gun down Kunker. And now Exy, he's all the way in towards Pit. He wants nothing to do with this. He's just trying to keep his hands on these rifles. Trying to do whatever he can. Just keep that cash in the bank. He needs to keep his hands on the FAMAS. Very low HP. He looks like he will just about survive in towards Pit. And that should allow his teammates to buy around him. That should give them an opportunity to try and repel a T side that is getting stronger by the minute. Hey, thanks Hudson. Massively appreciate it, my man. I'll stick it on Reddit later. The full buy-in for both sides. Four AKs and an AWP for the T's. It's going to be Ragger again picking up the CT AWP. And Kunker, of course, on that save. FAMAS. Three AUGs for the remainder of the T side. CT side, excuse me. As Russ wants to get aggressive again, he's looking to find these early picks. He's looking to make it happen with the AWP in his hands. The smoke will keep him off for a little while longer. Five on five, and Ragger's got aggressive in towards short. The smoke will keep him at bay for a little while, but instead he's going to start to peek up middle, and they're getting a lot of information here. Nexus Buzzkill very much set towards that B-bomb site. Just Leaf alone deep in towards long. As you can see, Hype's starting to think about it. He's starting to push out in towards middle, and he's starting to make his presence known. Ragger and Zoot's forced back off the angle, and Buzzkill look like they're going for this B-execute again. They are fully setting up for it. They've got four players in deep towards the tunnels and it is going to be this b hit i believe they are posturing it as they start to walk on out it's down to xy and adron as soon as this smoke goes we will see the t starting to swarm them in the pop flash comes through they need to clear their angles here and they will leaf gets one trade is in from xy but hawk takes him down and hype is cutting out the rotates four versus two this bomb is going down and this round is all but done zoots and ragger there's no money left for the ct side they can't be committing to these kind of 4v2s these one in a million situations. They know that. And they're going to be backing off in towards long. They've got an AWP and an AUG in their hands. And they want to try and keep it that way. Hype going on a little bit of a hump. We'll find the opener onto Zoots. And that leaves Ragger alone. He's going to try and set himself up with an angle here. Hype should walk right into him. And at this point, the CT, the T side should just give up. Buzzkill. They just need to back off in this scenario. They need to keep those three rifles alive. Keep the flat cash flowing on their T side. Keep giving themselves opportunities to find these rounds Keep giving themselves chances. 10 to 12. Buzzkill really starting to drag this one back. It looks like Hawk is actually starting to clear out towards long. Those jumps are going to give away his position though. And if he walks in, Ragger should hit this shot all day long. It looks like he's holding the wrong way for the time being. And Hawk, oh, a split second earlier, he would have got that. A split second earlier and he gets that. But that won't be the case. The buy coming in for Buzzkill. It's going to be the half buy again for Nexus. Eagles across the board. Ragger on the saved AWP is going to have to go absolutely huge here. Shit, is that Baba? Hey, Baba. Used to modding on screens chat a fucking shitload. Full by four. The T's, of course, as they're going to make their way in towards lower tunnels early on. And you can see Ragger on that AWP. He wants to get aggressive in towards lowers. He's trying to get the opening pick, but Buzzkill have just straight up executed in towards long to start things off. Ragger with the oh boy oh, hits hype on the cross. That's a beautiful pick, and that's exactly what Nexus need. And now they can start to get aggressive. They know they have the man advantage. Zoots pushing all the way up middle. And he's gonna get a flank if they're not very, very quick about this. Ragger on the AWP and Zoots. Oh, Jsav spotted him out. What a timing for Jsav trying to rotate in towards that A bomb site. And he just catches the flanker. Four versus four. And Ragger going to get boosted up to try and get an angle over the top of the smoke. Russ all the while is creeping up. And he needs to clear Gandalf here. He will just about do it. Takes down Kunker. Takes a tag in response. But three versus four. And a beautiful nade comes in from Leaf. That AWP again going to be backing out of this situation. Four versus three. There's nothing that these CTs can realistically do. They're going to be backing off in towards that B-bomb site. Trying to act as bodyguards for Ragger on the AWP. He's trying to hold. Perhaps find another exit. Frag, do whatever he can. 
But it will be Buzzkill getting to within one round. And you wouldn't have seen this after that T-sided pistol went against them. Adron starting to clear the angles. Just trying to find exits again. Russ is looking to hunt. And he's got a little bit of an unfortunate timing there. Just misses the shot. Four players remain alive for Buzzkill. And they really are starting to build up their economy on the T-side. Plenty of money to work with for Buzzkill. The UK roster looking to pull off what would be quite the comeback after that one versus four versus from Russ versus what am I on about? That one versus four from Russ really served as a catalyst. You can see hype absolutely fragging out. 25 for him, 20 for Russ. The only closest player is Ragger on 20 for that CT side as the buy will be in. Two orbs were out. The double orb setup. First time we've seen it from the CTs as they're going for the fast control of long. Buzzkill are going straight towards B early on. Hype with the utility. Just trying to clear the angles. There is an AWP on this B bomb site in the hands of Exe. But Jacef's just straight cut his way through middle. He's found an easy entry. Exe able to trade for one. But he's being pinned in from all sides. And this round is over. Four versus three. Trying to make their way back in towards B. Hawk finds one. But Zoots and Ragger somehow on the trade. How have they done that? Three versus two. Oh my god, all these people in the GOTV chat. I'll kill it after this round. Three versus two. This round suddenly becomes viable. It's down to Hawk and Hype. The top fragger hype needs to go huge once again. He's making his way in towards tunnels, but looking to cut it out is Kunker. And hype needs to get aggressive. He knows it. The pot flash is inch perfect. He'll find one. Two versus two. Smoke's come in, but Kunker, he's going to make his way straight through it. Hype swats him out. Two for hype. One versus two for Zoots. Starting to make his way through the window, but the crossfire is too good. Hawk takes him down. We level things at 12 apiece. Surely not Buzzkill. Right, who remembers the command? Is it TV underscore no chat? Yeah. Right, bog off, kids. There we go. Hype showing up for the T side. 12 apiece and the CTs. Again, they're looking at a half by here. Ragga somewhat able to force. He's been saving for so many rounds. He's got a little bit of cash left in the bank, but it's three Deagles and a 5-7 for the rest of this CT side. They really don't have a lot to work with as they've tried to stack aggressively towards B because that's where we've seen Buzzkill playing these last few rounds. But Buzzkill, they just change up the play. They've made their way out towards long early on through Leaf, and they're going to start to take mid control here. With very limited presence from the CT side to try and counter it. You can see Zoots does have Ragger in towards CT, but it's a B-heavy setup from Nexus. I don't mind it in this sort of situation where you're forced onto the pistols at about the 2k mark. They're just trying to give themselves the best possible opportunity to do as much damage as they can to Buzzkill, but... When this situation ends up occurring, it looks a little bit ridiculous because we're going to see the short play come out against absolutely zero resistance. Zoot's going to take a little bit of damage through the doors. And now this player is going to execute onto the A bomb site against absolutely no resistance from Nexus. The utility is still going to be used, of course, by Buzzkill to try and make it as flawless as they can. Zoot somehow through the smoke gets an opener. Russ a little bit isolated now. Will recover the AK. Brought down to 10 HP before he trades. So... I take back all of my previous comments. A smoke to put out your own molly. Four versus four. There's still opportunity here for the CT side. Those deagles still working out for Nexus. And Leaf is in a really awful off angle. He'll be found by Kunker. Four versus three. Man advantage. Trades coming through across the board. Russ is still on 10 HP here. It's down to Hawk. He'll find the first. He's trying to challenge the second and he will do so. One versus one. Hawk just needs to play the bomb here as Exe. He's trying to make his way onto the site. He's heard jumping and Hawk's got the spray. Recovers the situation. Buzzkill regain the lead. 13 to 12, three rounds needed for the UK roster to make themselves, to book themselves a place in the round of eight, making it further than they did just two days ago. An absolutely essential clutch from Buzzkill. The buy will be in from Nexus this time though. They will have full firepower, double orb set up, three rifles for the CTs to try and work with. Can Russ be the instigator? Going to make his way in towards long early on. Orp in hand. He's looking for the opening pick. The flashes won't. Oh, what a shot. Fully blinded. Russ gets the opener. Kunka taken down. And this is where it starts to look a little bit awkward for Nexus. You can see Buzzkill. They're going to straight up group up towards this B-bomb site. Try and isolate Exe and Adron. And try and just hit their shots straight up. Exe playing the off angle. Will get the opener with the Orp. And there's nobody really there to trade for Buzzkill. The smoke comes in. And Exe's going to get a second. Surely not. Still playing around those back boxes. Buying time. Exe gets a third Adron there to assist. And somehow Russ is the only player to get a kill in this round. As he makes it a one versus three. Second of the round for him. But Nexus looking set to level things off here. And the cash isn't great for Buzzkill. You can see Hawk's got an absolute ton of it. Of course. But Ragga... Going to take down the last man. 13 apiece, the scoreline. This one going right down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Hawk with enough cash to drop this one. Should be able to get a full buyout for his teammates on Buzzkill, but 
Nexus got to be feeling good about that. They lost an early pick. Buzzkill looked to play the numbers game, but just playing around the boxes. Exe on that B bomb site, making it work. Full by will be in for both sides all the same. Russ going to get that AWP in his hands once again, and it looks like Buzzkill going to go for that last fast long presence. No real contest from the CT side. Nexus not interested in it for the time being. Going to go for the boost in towards short instead. Counter flashes raining on high. As now they look like they might start to think about a retake. So much firepower out towards a long for the T's. And Nexus, as of yet, have not decided to get aggressive. They've just held back. And Raga will find the entry. Rush trying to dive down into the pit. His head absolutely ripped off. What a shot. Jsav trying to correct it, but he just leaves himself an easy shot to hit. Raga just raining havoc from that A bomb site. Triple for him. And now Kunka will look to finish things off too in that round. A little bit of team voice chat. Nexus, they are not going down without a fight. And after that drop, the money is not there for Buzzkill. Surely this isn't how it finishes. For the UK roster, they looked so impressive on their comeback. But they're just starting to slip now. Pause coming in from Buzzkill to try and perhaps recover this situation. Give themselves an opportunity. Give themselves a chance, realistically. They just need to find something a little bit special here. If this round goes south, you're looking down the barrel of match point Nexus. And it looks like the Nexus Academy could be booking themselves a spot in the round of eight. Could see the half by coming in from Buzzkill here. Give themselves pistols, try and do damage, and then accept that you're conceding the match point and then just try and win. I mean, it's only two rounds to take it to OT if that is the situation. So it's an understandable strategy. We'll have to wait and see what Buzzkill choose to do. It does not look like they're going to be investing heavily. P250 out for Hawk. It is going to be these pistols for Buzzkill. They're going to have to do whatever they can with it. Oh, no, wait. They are going to force. They're going to go for it. They want this round desperately. The loss bonus can't be great for them at all. They're not going to have a lot of cash if this goes south. And the early presence is going to be towards this B-bomb site. Molotov to buy a little bit of time for the CTs. But the utility, very limited on Buzzkill. They really are in a one-track mind here. They're posturing for the B-bomb site. And they've just got to hit their shots. The secondary Molotov has come in from the CTs. And they are buying so much time here. Nexus just using that utility advantage to make it work. It's going to be straight through the smoke. A drone fully blinded. But they're not clearing his angle. This is an open field day for the CTs. Somehow Leaf gets the second. But Kunka looking to shut it down before it gets too interesting. Fast through the door. Three on two. This bomb still needing to go down. And the utility is just going to rain through from the CT side. Hawk and Jsav trying to make it work as the bomb should get planted here. Not two of the top fraggers, but we've seen them pull off clutches before. Mollies and nades galore for the CT side, and they're forcing Jsav into an awful spot. Somehow, he still finds the entry fully blinded, playing in the fire. 12 HP, finally traded out. It's down to Hawk, and he can't find the shot. Ragger will get it. Match point, Nexus Academy. At the most crucial of moments, Nexus make it work. That AWP singing out for Ragger. And the economy is not good at all for Buzzkill. They, of course, will be forcing to try and keep themselves in this round of 16. But not looking good at all. Scout comes out for Russ. AK for Jsav. Hawk actually going to drop down onto the Deagle. Galil into the hands of Hype. Leaf could pick up an AK or could opt to pick up Utility as well here. Looks like it will be an AK-47 to try and work with as the fast play down Suicide comes in from the T side. They know they are just two rounds away from taking this to OT. Fast short boost could catch the T's off guard though. Hawk going in first with the Deagle. He needs to find the shot and he can't. The spray's good for one. The trade is instantaneous again. Leaf finding a double out of nothing and the fast rotate from Kunka just needs to be shut down here by the T side. He's in an awful spot. His head should be visible in towards Elevator and indeed it is. Hype will get it. Four versus two. We are going to the 30th round ladies and gentlemen. How has this happened? We will be going to the 30th. Those two remaining CT players, their cash isn't great either. They want nothing more to do with this. 14 to 15. Buzzkill take it to one round away for OT. Can they make it happen here? Can Buzzkill take this one to overtime? As I always say, when you get to OT, anything can happen. There is really no rulebook in OT scenarios. All players kept alive for the T side is absolutely huge as well. They build up a little bit of bank. They're going to be able to get a full, full buy. If they don't keep all five, four rifles alive here, their buy into the last round of the heart of last round of the game potentially is really, really awful. Instead, they are going to get a good full buy on the cards. They're going to get everything they need for Christmas. They're going to give themselves opportunity, and that is 
absolutely essential. They just need to give themselves half a chance to get into OT. Then there's potential. The buy. Going to be in fully for both sides. Of course, the economy built up for Nexus Academy. They're going to get AWP and four AUGs. Everything they could ever want for Christmas. Buzzkill, no. They need one round to take this to OT. Nexus need one round to finish this. So the early presence will come in for the CTs towards long again. Raga looking to shut it down like we've seen him do so many times. Just backs off of it now and knows he needs to support towards short. And that will leave a slightly isolated Kunkka. Going to get a huge amount of nade damage to open things up all the same. And Kunkka could be absolutely instrumental here. He needs to buy time for his AWP. Raga drops the pop flash. Kunkka gets the opener and still not traded out. Kunkka gets a second. Five versus three. This is falling apart at the seams for Buzzkill. Still got Russ and Hype alive, and I'm not writing them off until both of those players are dead. And they're going to make their way out of mid now, but Raga with the AWP could cause absolute havoc here. No map presence at all for Buzzkill. Nothing to work with. Raga going to make his way down in towards CT. Smoke actually coming in to counter the presence, and Raga could be absolutely instrumental here. The mid B smoke comes in, and the fast flank not going to work out. JSAV on 1 HP spins around and finds it. Russ almost hits the shot to make it a 3 on 3 scenario. The Molotov going to burn for a little bit of damage and just keep that AWP at bay a while longer as Hype tries to make it happen in towards the B bomb site. He knows he needs to find the opening shot here. He needs to find a frag as the swing peak can come in. There's two players perfectly balanced to hit this, and they're not finding the frags yet. Buzzkill. Russ finally opens it. Hype gets a second. 3v2. The tag's still to work with, and the bomb is yet to make its way across to the site. There's no smokes left on the cross, and Kunka will take him down. Two versus two. The AWP going to make his way straight in through the doors. Hype peaks too early. Ragga trades him out. Russ, one versus two, doesn't have his AWP this time. AK in hand, and he knows Ragga's close on the doors. Ragga will do it. 16 to 14. Nexus will take it 